All right. Hello, everyone. How are you today? It's K. So this is the second of November on uh, Tuesday. So uh, today, this is a recorded video. It's not a live stream. It's a recorded video. But uh, I will talk about the time cycles because it looks like the markets are retracing, ranging on forex pairs. So I will talk about the time cycles on XAUUSD gold. Because I haven't really talked about the gold recently because simply it's ranging. And as myself, as a um, swing trader, day to swing trader, gold is not really ideal to trade. And that's why I didn't really talk about it. But today, let me talk about the gold because I get requests from the tra traders in my community and talk about time cycles. So, um, step by step, I will show you exactly how I capture time cycles and how I can foresee the future tenkabis in, in the market. So, um, let's get started right now. So, just as a quick disclaimer, this information today is basically based on my own understanding and knowledge and experience. So, when you take trades, please do add in risk. And also, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines on this video session, that will be great. So, uh, this video is recorded at um, 1 p.m. in UTC time zone. So, this is... Oh, sorry. This is not 1 p.m. Hold on. Let me refresh the page to make it work. And this is... Sorry. This is um, 7, 28 a.m. in UTC time zone. So, you have the clock on world clock Los Angeles, New York, London, Dubai, New Delhi, and Singapore, Tokyo, and UTC. So, um... Uh, depending on location, you know exactly when I capture this video. Okay, so let me turn to trading view. All right, so here is XAUSD gold chart, and right now I can see that the uh, the price is above the Kijun Sen and the Kumo, and the Chikou span above the candles. So to me, it looks like bullish, but uh very weak bullish trend because I don't see Kijun Sen is up yet. Kijun Sen is flat and Kumo is technically Senko Span A is up, but this is too tiny, very short, very tiny Kumo. So um, I would say that the Kumo is too small to be trustable for its uptrend. So, first of all, in terms of the trend direction, I will categorize this as a um, range market. So, um, the market might go up or down, and we don't know which way it's going as per daily chart basis. It might be traced back to Kijun Sen in this case, so we have to still watch out for the retracement, which can happen at any time. But um, So, this is the gold chart, and let me show you exactly how I capture the time cycles. So, first of all, if you want to cap time cycles, you want to take the daily time frame because this is also what uh, this is also based on my experience and also what Gochi Hosoda mentioned on the original book of Ichimoku is that you better take the time cycles in the daily chart or higher time frames. I have tested time cycles in one hour chart or even like five minute chart. But um, it didn't really work. I mean, sometimes we see Kihon Suchi numbers in between the lows and highs, but um, it doesn't last long because it's lower time frames, and lower time frames has volatilities spikes up and downwards, especially if there's a big news in the market like this week, like NFP. Um, the market tends to be spiky, lower time frames, and the time cycles doesn't really work in lower time frames, in my experience. So that's why I usually, well, I always take daily time frame to capture time cycles. And that's why this is a daily chart. And what I look at whenever I see the market um, time cycles is that I notice 
the swing highs and swing lows. So if you simply capture the swing lows, I think that would be more obvious. I can see that the low here, on the 9th of August, there's a long week pointing downwards due to news. And it was the swing low. And the next swing low was marked over here on the 29th of September. So when you capture this time cycle on the lows, then I simply count the number of candlesticks. So I use this uh, tool in TradingView, data and price, and simply I drag from this one on the 9th of August low to the next one, 29th of September. And I found the number of candles to be 38 bars. So um, for the last 38 bars, 38 trading days, the market marked the swing low. And this is one of time cycles in the Ichimoku in Koiho here. And, but one thing to note is that when you draw, when you count the number of candles, make sure that you count this one on the 9th of August as one, not zero. Because uh, technically, if you use this data and price range tool in TradingView and put it exactly on this 9th of August here, if I just press the left click, it says zero bars. But it should be counted as one. And that's why every time I draw these time cycles, I count, I start counting from one previous. So instead of starting counting from here to, to the right, that will be 37. But if you start counting one previous and then make this candlestick 9th of August as one bar, then this is the correct way to count the time cycles. So, and you count it to the, to the next one and it becomes 38 bars. So, um, that's a bit of a trick uh, to, to uh, but important to notice that. So, I see that 38 bars swing low and after I found this, I I will see if this 38 bars swing low was happening on the previous swing low also. So simply if I capture this, after I capture this, I simply count backwards 38 bars from the 9th of August. So what I do is instead of start counting from here, I count start counting one head so that this candlestick, 9th of August, becomes minus one bar, and then count backwards, 38. And see if I can find any uh, swing low close to 38 bars. It doesn't have to be exactly 38, 39, 37, one or two candlestick difference is acceptable for the time cycles. So if I simply drag to the past, then what we can see is, here is 37 bars. So I can see that 37 bar swing low was on the 18th of June. And this was exactly the end of this reverse end wave. So that was also a remarkable day for that. Oh, okay, so let me just move to the right so that you can see the whole dates here. So, um, so now we see some pattern. So since 18th of June, on gold daily chart, the lows are in 37 and 38 bars in between. So that now we can talk about the future. So if you simply count the number of candles from this one to the future, 38, 37 bars, potentially that will be the next swing low. So Simply, I start counting one previous so that, hold on, start counting one previous so that this one over here, a 29th of September um, candlestick uh, becomes one bar, and then I count forward 
38 bars. So in that will be 19th of November. Yeah, so I just put the vertical line, 19th of November, which is a potential swing low. Or it can be um, 18th of November, 17th November, or it could be 22nd November, 23rd November. Um, it's acceptable. But roughly around this date, the market potentially reverses backwards and push back and continuously goes up in this way. Of course, you have to see the Kumo and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen Chikou Span at the time of here, 19th of November. But uh, potentially, you can draw the vertical line in the future and monitor chart until that day. And so we have four days. We get four days, the 18th of June. Well, let me freeze my window. So that you can see the whole um, dates here. So 18th of June and 9th of August, 29th of September, and 19th of November. You got these four dates, and these are called henkabi in Japanese. So henkabi means so henka H N H E N K E K A sorry. So henka means change in English and B means day in Japanese. So these are basically uh, called changing dates or day of change in, in English. And these are called henkabi in Japanese. So you can see that the market has been nicely, uh, you know, in the henkabi, respecting the time cycles of 20, uh, 37, 38 bars in between the lows. And so, once you capture this, then you look into the highs also. Because on the highs, you might see the similar time cycles in between. So, if I see the market like this, I can notice that the swing high, the most recent high was marked here on the 3rd of September. And then the previous high was either this one over here, 29th of July, or I can see the previous swing high was the 15th of July. So in this case, I simply count this, uh, I count backwards from the 3rd of September and see if I see time cycles here. So I start counting one ahead so that this date, 3rd of September becomes minus one and then count backwards like this. And what I can find is that there was 27 bars in between the swing highs and if I count back all the way, it was 37 bars. And in this case, I take 37 bars because um, 37 is very close to numbers in swing lows. So you can get this henkabi. Of course, you can use, you can take this uh, swing high on the 29th of July. But in this example, I can see that the similar number to the lows and that's why I prefer to take these swing highs in between 15th of July and um, 3rd of September. And after I capture this, basically do the same. I count forward to the next swing high on the 22nd of October and see how many candles we have. So once again, I start counting one previous so that the 3rd of September becomes one bar and then count forward. And I see the swing high found to be 36 bars in between. So 37, 36 is very close. So we have this time cycle here. So we see some pattern on the highs also. So let's even count backwards, 37, 36 backwards from the 15th of July. So again, I start counting one, one uh, 
one future candle so that the date here 15th of july becomes one minus one and can backwards so 37 36 around i can see that the swing high was 37 bars and 37 is a bit off from 37 36 but 37 33 is actually one of the kihon suchi numbers so we can take that so you see some patterns you can even count backwards and this pattern might be um, valid in, in the past also. But so far, I think this is good because after this date, the 1st of, um, of June, the market retraced backwards and now it's ranging. And we can see time cycles on the highs and lows, 37, 36 or 38 bars in between. So in terms of highs, the next potential Henkabi will be 36 or 37 bars to the future from the 22nd of October. So, once again, I start counting one previous so that 22nd of October becomes one bar and then count forward 36 or 37. In this case, I just take 36 because it was a previous swing high, 36. So, 36 bar to the future is going to be on the 10th of December. Right? So I just put the vertical line so that we know that that will be the next Henkabi on the highs. So now we have a nice time cycles like this in the gold daily chart. So we get the swing low, potential swing low on the 19th of November. And also swing high on the 10th of December. That means potentially the market retraces backwards. I mean, we can create many scenarios from here, but let's say one of the scenarios would be the market gradually retraces backwards and push back at 9th of November, 19th of November, and it goes up and marks a swing high on the 10th of December and retraces backwards to the next Henkabi, like this, on the swing lows. That will be one of the scenarios. But if the market breaks the previous resistance level of 1813.19 before the market reaches to 19th of the member, then it might retrace backwards and it might be pushed back exactly here and continue to go up this way and retraces backwards and it goes up in this direction that will be the second scenario for this bullish trend analysis or there will be third scenario if the market goes down and breaks the kumo downwards until the end of the 19th november like this way then this would be the swing low and next swing high can be marked on the 10th of December and the market may continuously go down this way. And the reason why I created these three scenarios in this particular market is that because there is no trend in Ichimoku. Once again, the Kumo is too small to be trustable and Kijun Sen is flat, Chikou Span is still too close the candles and this is ranging so in this ranging market we have to keep in mind that the market could go up or down and we don't know which way it's going and that's why in my head i create these three scenarios if the market goes up this way then what can happen by the henkabis if the market goes bearish then what can happen in the market and if the market continues to be in the range then what can happen in the market by these time cycles but anyhow, we get we captured these time cycles, so we can monitor, continue to monitor, see which way it goes. So that's the time cycles. And so time cycles are for the swing traders, and I don't use time cycles for entry confirmations. Entry confirmations for myself is always in the lower time frames, and 
time cycle is, is to, just to capture a bigger picture of the market and potentially know which way will actually what will be the next henkabi in the future like this way so that um of course this is not 100 percent it might have a change in these time cycles if that's the case you have to redo the time cycles as the market goes on but one thing that is important to remember is that because we have these two future henkabis on the swing lows and swing high um, you can psychologically prepare for it let's say you see the market goes up breaks the resistance line this week next week and start to retrace backwards and you see the market push back and if you don't have time cycles like this you have no idea why the market pushed back but uh, if you have time cycles you know the reason because it was the future henkabi already so psychologically you can prepare for it and once you capture once you see the pushback in the daily chart then uh, you can look at the lower time frames and capture the entry edge to buy so like this you can psychologically prepare for it in the future market and that's basically how you can integrate the Ichimoku time cycles like this but uh, always you have to at the time of entry you have to watch the Kumo, Hijun Sen, Tenkan Sen and Chikol Span confirmations also and also I recommend you to draw the lines draw the trend line, resistance line and watch price action for your entry confirmations and also of course time cycle is not 100% at all time sometimes the market does not respect future time cycles and it doesn't work in the future if that's the case simply delete these henkabis and redo the time cycles and see how which time cycles which new time cycles the market are respecting uh, in the new future market so the idea of Ichimoku overall or time cycles is to be able to see charts objectively and rationally we never take trades or we never see charts in subjective manner we never see charts emotionally or we never take trades emotionally so better to kind of you know um, have a gap in between yourself and chart emotionally psychologically and uh, you know be able to take trades in a very calm and less emotion manner like this and Ichimoku and time cycles uh, will be a great help for you to be able to uh, have that stance uh, whenever you trade so yeah gold I think uh, in the lower time frames it's uptrending so let me just uh, have a quick look at the lower time frame so let me just go down to one hour chart and in one hour chart once again I we don't we can't use time cycles because it doesn't work really so um but in one hour chart you see the bullish in the wave you see bullish in the waves after this huge retracement now it's on the bullish in the wave and it's about to break the resistance level here so as long as this bullish trend in the one hour chart is valid then it should go up in this direction so but in this case i would just wait for the kijun sen to come outside of the kumo and then kumo point upwards and look for the buy chance otherwise it might still retrace back to kumo or kijun sen in this case so but because I do see potential end wave, I wait for the Kijun Sen to come out of the Kumo and Kumo turns bullish and then look for buy chance afterwards. And then I look at the daily chart and see if market breaks the resistance in the daily chart and respect the time cycles like in this way. So so that was a step-by-step -step 
um, uh, method of how you capture time cycles and um, how you can possibly capture the future Henkabis in this way. So whatever markets you're watching, whether it's a Forex or a stock market or indices, you can open the chart in the daily chart and just capture swing lows and swing highs and see if you have any patterns. And if you have certain patterns in the market, then just capture future Henkabis and just leave these lines and continue to monitor the chart and see if market will respect these future Henkabis. So I will keep these lines for our future discussions and continue to monitor if the market respects. And so I will come back to the time cycle on the 19th of November and uh, see how it went. Right, so that's that's uh, so that was time cycle lecture. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's lecture video series. So recently I have been uh, doing some video sessions so that uh, you can um, you know learn from the way I look at the charts by Ichimoku and time cycles like this. Sometimes I talk about the price action lines uh, and entry confirmations, exit confirmations. So, uh, so that you can have better understanding of what I talk about in the future live sessions. So, uh, and since this is the first week of the month, we have big events, big news everywhere in the market, including non-farm payrolls in the US on Friday. So every time you take trades this week, especially, um, please watch check news beforehand so that if there's a big news in the market, then simply stay away. Although you find a nice trend in market, you better stay away because the news can you know, violate um, any technical analysis. Even if you see a stable uptrend by Ichimoku, if the news turn out um, to be you know, negative or so, then it can impact the market and it can shoot down and shoot the uh, Kijun Sen or Kumo down. So that's why we better stay away if you see the news to be very close, like 30 minutes or one hour ahead. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please press the like button. And uh, also please subscribe and click the bell notification on so that you get notified as I upload these videos or do live streams in my in the future in my YouTube channel. So yeah, I will see you on the next one. Until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.